Hi and welcome back to the giant world of tiny things and another macro video. As you can see today we're in the woods, it's a beautiful day, a beautiful location and we're going to go for a macro walk and test out my new 2.5 to 5x macro lens by Venus Optics, which I'm really excited for. Let's go! Oh wow, I think we just found our first subject. Down here, if you want to have a look, there's a whole little patch of beautiful glover and flowers. I think they're gonna make for a nice subject to start off this photo session. Let's go. Wow, and even just 2.5x is pretty extreme already as this flower bud fills completely out the frame. Wow, did you see those pollen? Now let's zoom all the way into 5x and see what that looks like. And to shoot at 5x we're going to need to turn down the aperture to f2.8 because otherwise we'll just have to deal with the fraction softening. So we are 2.8 and we're going on full 5x. I think because we opened up the aperture so much we can dial down the speed light by one stop. Now let's zoom in on that pollen and see what that looks like magnified. Exciting stuff for sure. I really like how these images turned out. Now it's time to move on to our next subject. Let's go. Wow, I think I just located our next subject. If you want to have a look right down here, there's a fresh clear drop of sap and I think that's gonna make for some really interesting natural looking refraction shots. Let's zoom in on it and see what that'll look like. And as before, I think we're going to start with the low magnification, low magnification, right, of 2.5x and f8. And then we're going to zoom in all the way to 5x to compare those two images. Let's begin. Again, I set my flash power to 1 fourth to compensate for the more narrow aperture. Oh wow, there we go, beautiful shot. I love the colors and the structure. Now let's zoom in all the way. Tie down the flash power and here we go. And it's already getting a lot harder to focus, but we can do it. And now at 5x magnification, I'm just realizing that it's two drops, one of which is very tiny and definitely not easy to focus on. So we're going to take a few shots to make sure we get focus just perfect. And I think that's the shot that we're going to keep. And it looks beautiful, you can see the pine needles refracted in that little ball of sap and I really love the outcome of those images. Now I could spend some more time here but I don't want to bore you guys so we're going to move on and find some more subjects.
All right, I'm not sure if you were able to see that, but there's a really well camouflaged spider hanging in midair, suspended in its invisible net. So I'm going to see if I can get a decent shot of that spider. Let's see. And I think we're going to take the diffuser off just to make sure that we don't destroy its little web. Instead, we're just going to use this little bounce card right here. And that probably means that we can dial back the flash power just a little bit down to minus, minus a stop and a third I think is appropriate. And it's really hard to get focus right with the wind blowing it in and out of focus. Now we've got its tummy, let's see if we can get its actual upside. I'm going to try to sneak in behind it and get some shots from that perspective. It's moving. And we got the shot that I wanted, awesome. All right, that's that, let's find another subject. And I think I already found one. Now that's something interesting, isn't it? And I think that's going to look even more spectacular as soon as we start misting it with a few drops from our spray bottle. Wow, I'm loving the colors, loving the effects. This is just gorgeous. Even though it's not exactly easy to focus, it's worth it. And there's just another subject, that glover leaf right here. I'm not sure if it's glover, but no matter what it is, it really looks very, very beautiful with all these dewdrops on it that aren't actual dewdrops. But who knows and who cares? We're going to photograph it nevertheless. Wow, and I'm loving that magnifying effect of these droplets. It's basically just amplifying the effect of this extreme macro lens. So let's zoom all the way in decrease our flash power again, open up the aperture and take another shot. And you can tell that our focusing plane is so thin at this point that it's really not easy to focus. But at the same time, the abundance of subjects down here is just incredible. There's another subject that I didn't even notice before. It's an abundant old spider web and without the dew drops, it wasn't even visible, but now it is visible and it's just gorgeous and we're going to mist it even more to increase that effect. And the bokeh of this lens really is quite all right, I'd say. All right, it's time to move on. We can't spend all day on this patch of forest floor when there's so much to discover. Let's see if we can come up with another subject. And as soon as we find one, we're going to bring the camera, the camera back and take some more images. All right, I'd say this has been a pretty successful photo walk so far. Heaps of interesting subjects made for beautiful images and I really like how they turned out and I really gotta watch my steps in this forest as to make sure that I don't trample on any of our future subjects as it is just jam-packed with interesting little critters and plants and structures. I really hope you're enjoying this video as much as I enjoy filming it and if you do please leave me a thumbs up and just make sure you subscribe to this channel to get notified when future videos come out. Now I think we're going to look for one more subject and then it's time to pack up and wrap up this video as the wind is picking up and I think it's going to rain soon. Let's hurry up. Oh, <laughs> actually, no need to hurry. I think I just found our final subject. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I have in mind. There we are. And here is this little broken off pint big that sort of looks like a flower but just way more interesting and sort of dried out and I'm not sure if pine trees grow flowers. Nevertheless, we're going to take some images and just see what they turn out like. All right. Very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. Now let's zoom out a little bit and make sure we get the wide view of this and the sun is coming out one more time. What a perfect day. This is just so much fun. I hope you're enjoying this as well. 
Wow, not too shabby at all. I really enjoy how these images turned out. Now it's time to pack up. It's time for me to make sure that I don't get caught in the rain, that my camera gear doesn't get bad. And it's time for you guys to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you sometime soon in another video. Until then, stay creative, keep shooting, and most importantly, have a good time. Cheers.